This video is about frogs. Ribbit. So for this trick, you're going to pick a card and I'm going to find it. However, I'm not going to find it myself. I'm going to use the help of my assistant and his name is the Origami Jumping Frog. Weird name I know, don't judge him, all right? He'll sit right here until he's time to perform, all right? So I <laughs> got a deck of cards. And what I want you to do is instead of me going like this, I want you to only see it. In fact, the frog won't even see it, all right? He'll see it right there for now. So as, as I go through the cards like this, just say stop anytime, all right? So say stop there, all right? Remember that card, gets lost in the pack. We'll even give it a good shuffle, all right? So it's good and mixed. Now hopefully the frog didn't see it, but then what we'll do is we'll uh, go like this. So all the cards are spread around pretty nicely. And what the frog is going to do is actually jump around and try to find that card that you're just thinking of, all right? So watch. He's pretty good, and also he's pretty sneaky, so you gotta watch out for him, all right? So watch. He's landed on one card, one card only. We'll move this card over here, just like that. Fair as can be, all right? I won't move that frog, I won't move that card, all right? So for the first time, what was the name of your card that you were just thinking of? The Jack of Spades? Well, let's see if we can see the Jack of Spades in these cards, all right? Let's see if uh, they're the Jack of Clubs. See if our our frog prince has uh, succeeded in his uh, trick. No jack of spades. Yeah, that's pretty weird, right? I mean, you could have thought of any card. You even shuffled these. Wouldn't it be amazing if that jack of spades was actually right there for the first time? Let's turn it over. Oh wait, I get a diamonds. That's not right. You know what? I did tell you he's pretty sneaky, and uh, I don't know if you saw it or not, but he likes to camouflage himself uh, and other things. If you take a look at the frog itself, you'll see that he actually looks like a, a jack of spades. All right, so it's arts and crafts time. What you'll need for this is some double stick tape, a pair of scissors, and some old junk cards that you don't use anymore, all right? So first things first, let's make the frog. And here's how you do it. So take a card and you want to fold it in half lengthwise like this, all right? so. Uh, you're going to be giving this away as a souvenir, so try to make it as neat as possible, all right? So the lines all meet, and then the creases are nice and sharp. Next thing you want to do is take a corner and fold it down uh, like this diagonally. So you have sort of a paper airplane thing going on like this, and do that for both sides. So you make a sort of X in the card uh, like this. And like I said, uh, take your time with this because you want to make it look as neat as possible for the spectator to take home and admire forever. So next thing you're going to do is make a fold uh, this way and the fold has to be right here where these lines intersect, all right? So fold this down where the center of that X is, just like that. Make it as straight as possible, making sure all the lines meet and all the uh, creases are nice and sharp. Now what you're going to do is, it's kind of difficult uh, to start out with, but basically you're, you're going to make the card fold in on itself, all right? So uh, you want to make sort of a triangle at the top. Here's what I mean. So take the card and take these two folds here uh, where they come down and just sort of do this, all right? So these come up like this. Now take this top part here with your fingers and push it down so you're making a triangle shape uh, just like this. Next step, make his little arms. So take this flap here, fold it up to where it meets that top uh, edge like this. Just like that for arm number one. All right, again for the other side. For his other arm, like just like this. So you have these two flaps folding upwards just like this. Next, for the back legs, you uh, fold it inward like this to where this line meets this line, just like this diagonally. So these come in like this, so those meet there. And the same thing with the other side, just like that. Who knew folding frogs out of playing cards could be so much fun? Next two steps, what you do is you fold this up to where uh, the fold goes uh, in the middle of the belly, right here. So just like that. And then the last step is to fold this in half back 
just like this so that meets the back end just like so and now you have your jumping frog that does actually jump uh, pretty good actually so now what we're going to do is make the gimmick that will allow us to force the card and make it vanish at the same time so what you do here is take some cards and uh, the force card will be obviously the card that's the frog so jack of spades jack of spades all right so leave that how it is and now you want to take your pair of scissors and your tape and you want to make a short card what by that i mean uh just trim off a little piece of the upper portion of the card like this uh not really the corners uh just sort of like a like a U shape on the top of the card here like this. I'll demonstrate real quick like this. It doesn't have to be that extreme either. It's just a, a little sliver, like a Svengali deck, all right? Just like this and you're good to go. So it looks like that. And now take a piece of double stick tape about the width of the playing card, just like so or less, and uh, put it on the bottom portion of the card like this and then take this cut card and attach it uh, on there like this. So what you have is a force card. So you can go like this and then you can just feel that snap. And that'll be important later on in the deck because when you put it in the middle of the deck, what you can do here is force the card easily like this. And it works every time you'll fill it and then it just happens automatically. So they say stop right there and it forces it every time. So the cool thing about this is the fact that we have that piece of card stuck to the force card. Uh, you won't see it in the deck either. So you can go through and you won't see that jack of spades anywhere. Which is very, very nice for this trick in particular. So having this setup, I think the trick is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll go through it anyway. All right, so you have this frog in your pocket and you bring it out and you say, look, I have a frog, it's my assistant, and you can say whatever you want to say, whatever suits your style, all right? So um, you put him aside and you say he's pretty sneaky. You gotta watch out for him, all right? That's important to say because, you know, of the change. And so this uh, gimmick card starts out on the bottom of the deck and then the short card side is facing outward, of course, all right? So give it a shuffle, overhand shuffle, uh, to make it go in the center and say, look, instead of having you pick a card like this, what I'll have you do is just look at a card in the deck so Mr. Sneaky Frog doesn't see it, right? So what you do is you riffle the end like this and have them say stop and watch their lips. Uh, when they do that, just release all the cards and you will hit that force card that Jack of Spades. Now they can shuffle the deck. It's not gonna disturb anything, right? So they're shuffling or you're shuffling, whatever. And then, you know, just do the uh, the classic waterfall, the waterfall, the, um, you know, the wash uh, shuffle uh, thing here on the table. And uh, the cool thing about this is um, the frog actually jumps so they can have fun with the card and they, they can do the jumping themselves, right? So give them the frog. Say, look, Mr. Sneaky Frog is gonna find your car so they can have fun doing this. It's a, it's a lot of fun, right? Especially for kids, but uh, adults like it as well, right? So we have this card here and then you pull this aside with the frog on top of it to make sure you don't touch it again. So gather up all the cards like this. And uh, what you want to do is ask them what their card was. They, they say the Jack of Spades. Wouldn't it be crazy if that is actually the Jack of Spades? So what you do with the beauty of that, uh, that force card hideout principle is that you can deal with the cards like this and that Jack of Spades won't be seen. And so when you get to the end, they're gonna be thinking that that's the Jack of Spades, right? Uh, but uh, you're leading them down the garden path, so to speak. So when you turn this over, it won't be the Jack of Spades. It'll be a different card. Say, oh man, that sucks. That's not your card. But wait, where's the Jack of Spades? You know, I told you this guy was sneaky. And so you open this up, it's the Jack of Spades. And then everybody goes home happy and they have a cool souvenir that they can talk about uh, forever. Just a little tip, whenever you open the card up, uh, make sure to fold it back for them so they actually have their frog intact uh, after the trick. All right, so another thing, if you don't wanna do, uh, if, you don't, if you don't wanna carry a gimmick, uh, what you can do instead is have the actual force card in the deck uh, gimmick free. And I'll show you through, um, I'll show you through, I will walk you through a, a gimmickless version of this right now. All right, so same thing as before, bring the frog out, talk about his weird name, the origami jumping frog. Uh, weird name, don't judge him. Um, so at this time, the fourth card, the Jack of Spades, is on top of the deck, and you begin an overhand shuffle, uh, jogger control, which means undercut half, 
and draw a card on top of the jack of spades and shuffle off. And say, I don't want the frog to see anything, so only you can see the card, all right? So you just do a riffle force, uh, keep a break above that card because of that jog. And then you do the riffle force, say stop any time, stop right there. And they see the card and all I gotta do now is control the card to the top with your favorite method, cut, cut, break on top. And uh, now what you do here is you sort of sprinkle the cards in a ribbon spread like this on the table so that always ends up on top. And then just like before, they take the frog and they happen to jump on a card, it doesn't matter. Now what you do here is you take everything that's below the frog card and you put that aside. Now what you do here is you square these up and you put these over face up on top of here. So what we're gonna do is sort of like a like a hideout vanish uh, slight. So let's see if we see the jack of spades, your card, and then you spread through, they won't see the jack of spades. And then what you do at the end of this is you keep break under this card, which will be the jack of spades. And then you lift everything up above the break, taking that card with it, right? They don't see that put on the table. Let's see if it's over here. And they won't see it either because it's hidden out just like this. It's, they don't see the jack of spades, so they assume this is the card, which it's not, so that's the trick. So you still have a card that's reversed on the bottom of the deck, but it's a very simple matter to reverse it while they're looking at the frog, and just by anything like this uh, that they don't see, right? Uh, don't make a big deal out of it, all right? All right, guys, I hope you liked this video, and hope you liked this trick, and uh, thanks for watching. Till next time, happy ribbiting. I love you guys.